Well, a Philadelphia doctor is on the Ukrainian border volunteering at a refugee camp. CBS3 health reporter Stephanie Saul joins us with her very personal account from the front line, Steph. Well, Natasha, it is a desperate situation. The United Nations estimates there could be 5 million refugees. And doctors from all over the world are lending their support, including a cancer specialist from here in Philadelphia. I couldn't sleep without having to do something. Dr. Laura Bukovina is volunteering at a refugee camp in Poland on the border of Ukraine. This was a shopping mall. You can still see the the stores that have closed and they're just putting cots everywhere for people. Using her phone via Zoom, Dr. Bukovina walked us through the facility where hundreds, maybe thousands of people are camped out. So they're trying to keep the families together if possible. So for example, you have a lot of women and children in this tent, so the subcategory. There's also pets here. Dr. Bukovina is a urologic oncology fellow at Fox Chase Cancer Center in Philadelphia. She's also Ukrainian, so she's able to communicate with refugees and provide medical assistance. They're scared. They're numb. There's very little hope. Sometimes it takes about three days on foot uh, to get to the place. So you, you're seeing a lot of sort of wear and tear injuries on your body. There's also a lot of hyperthermia. Her colleagues at Fox Chase are gathering and sending supplies, but with tens of thousands of refugees flooding into camps, it's hard to keep up. And because it's a humanitarian crisis, COVID precautions have been waived. Most of the refugees are not vaccinated and masks aren't required. So it's going to be um, probably within the next couple of days a big outbreak of coronavirus within this population. Do you have uh, access to masks or other personal protective equipment? There are supplies for the, the healthcare individuals. She says most of the refugees are women and children ripped apart from other loved ones, many with nothing and no place to go. As a mother of three little boys, as a Ukrainian, as a physician, it breaks my heart. And Dr. Bukovina says her families who her family members who are still in Ukraine are also volunteering at the border, handing out food and water. She says they are all heartbroken and exhausted, but determined to stay strong. Siafa. Thank you so much, Stephanie.